Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Welcome to Archaeology Pub Quiz with Dig Ventures. I am Nat, I will be your host this week. I'm a community archaeologist with Dig Ventures. I dig holes normally and now I'm writing about the holes. And I'm taking a break from writing about the holes to uh, bring this quiz to you. Yes, you. Yeah. <laughs> we have a quiz this week that consists of five rounds and a bonus mystery object round. The rounds are who, a what, a where, a when and how. Within each round there are five questions. Some of them are easy, some of them are hard. Yeah. Hopefully there's something for everyone out there. Don't know. Maybe. Maybe. So we you will need you will need a pen, a piece of paper, your friends, somehow, via the magic of the internet. That seems to work now, doesn't it? Yeah. And you will need a drink and a snack. My drink of choice is a beer. And my snack of choice is some cheese. I've got a Morbier, a Shropshire Blue, and a Brie, and some oat cakes. That should keep me going, I hope, for the duration of this quiz. Yeah? Yeah? Or at least part of the quiz. I might have to run off and get some more, maybe. Maybe. Who knows? Let me introduce you to Jeff. He will be moderating. He's a bit mute, but yeah. There he is. Say hello. Hello. Yeah. Yes. I'm not going crazy from all of this insideness. Not at all. Not at all. Right then, let's get quizzical. Okay, round one. Round one. Are we all ready? Are we? Now are we? Right then, question one. Who excavated the tomb of King Tutankhamun? That is question one. Who excavated the tomb of King Tutankhamun? Right then. Has everyone got that? Should have been. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, nice easy one to easy win. Easy win. Here's another nice easy one. Or at least it should be for the archaeology fans out there. Question two. Who was the lead archaeologist for Time Team? Who was the lead archaeologist for Time Team. Hmm. That was a mistake. Okay, question three. Who is also known as the Iceman? Who is also known as the Iceman? Like, na 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 na, Iceman.
Yeah. Have you got it? Yeah? Yeah? Okay, question four. Four, that's four. Who is this? Who is she? There's a clue. She fell out of a tree in Ethiopia. That's a fact. Or at least it's a nat fact. Have you got it? Yeah? Yeah? Okay. Okay. Final question. Question five. Who lived in a house like this? Who lived there? Who lived in a house like that? Yeah? You got that? Do you think they've got that, Jeff? No? Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Right. Let's just go through those questions once more. Question one. Who excavated the tomb of King Tooth and Carmoon? Question two. Who was the lead archaeologist for Time Team? Question three. Who is also known as the Iceman? Question four. Who was in that picture? Who was it? Who? And question five, who lived in that house? Yeah? Are we good? Are we good? Yeah. Okay then. Okay. Hello? Round two. This is round two. Two. Do a. Duh. Round two. Right. Question one. Round two. Round two is a what round. It's what, what. What, what. Okay. Question one. What is this? What is this? Jeff's got one as well. Yeah. Have we all got that one? Have we? Okay. Question two. What is this? What is this? Or mainly, what is it made of? And there's a bonus point here out there for you, if you want it. Why is it this colour? Sort of a, a light whitish grey, bluish grey patina to it. What is it? Why is it this colour?
Okay. Question three. What do archaeologists call different deposits of soil in features? Question three. What do archaeologists call different deposits of soil in features? Any idea, Jeff? No? No? You can put the trowel down now. <gasps> Question four. What was discovered in Shangxi, a province in central China, in a tomb? surrounding an emperor. Each of them were individual and unique. Yeah. That's question four. What was discovered in the Shangxi province in China, central China, in a tomb? Each of them was unique and individual. They were all an individual. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Right, this is the final question in the what round. What is the Via Appia? What is the Via Appia? <coughs> Do you want a clue? Yeah? No? Yeah. No. no. It's in Italy. Oh, you didn't want a clue, did you? Ah, you knew it already. Yeah. 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 Right. Cool. Okay. Let's run through those questions again. What is this? I might have given that one away. What is this? What is this? Why is it that colour for a bonus point? The colour being a light bluish grey. What do archaeologists call different deposits of soil in features? That's question three. And question four, what was discovered in Shangxi, a province in central China, in a tomb? Each of them was individual and unique. And question five, what is the Via Appia? Oh, bonus, 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 bonus round. It's a bonus round. It's a bonus round. Archaeologist Arthur Evans excavated a little known site called Knossos in Crete. This site is famous because of what myth? So, what myth is associated with Knossos? Hmm. 
Have you got that? That little bonus. Little bonus. Round three. Three. How? This is going to be all about how do we do stuff. I nearly said a naughty word there. Okay, question one. How do archaeologists use this? Is it like this? Like this? Or like this? Is it like this? Like this? Or like this? Or is it all three? Cool. Ready for question two? Okay, question two. Imagine you're on a dig and you have collected a soil sample and been asked to extract any ancient seeds from it so that you can figure out what kind of crops and plants people were growing. How would you do it? That is, imagine you're on a dig and you've collected a soil sample and been asked to extract any ancient seeds from it so that you can figure out what kind of crops they were growing or plants were growing how would you do that so that is what is the process of getting seeds from soil archaeologically speaking Something I've quite lovingly called mud fondling. Okay. Are we ready for question three? Daub is what people used around the world to make buildings before bricks and masonry. How do you make it? Okay, that's question three. How do you make daub? Yep, yeah. alright, cool. Finally, no, not finally, it's question four. Question four, the Nazca Lines in Peru and the Uffington White Horse in Oxfordshire are both what archaeologists call geoglyphs. How do you make them? That's question four. How do you make geoglyphs? Yeah. Bum 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 bum
Ball. Cool. Question five. How do archaeologists know where to dig? Name three ways. That's question five. Name three ways how archaeologists know where to dig. Cool. Right. Let's just quickly run through those questions again. Question one. How do archaeologists use this? Is it like this? Is it like this? Or is it like this? Question two, imagine you're on a dig and you've collected a soil sample and been asked to extract ancient seeds from it so that you can figure out what kind of crops and plants people were growing in the past. How would you do it? Simple, really. How do you do it? Question three, how do you make door question four the nazca limes in peru the uffington white horse in oxfordshire are both what archaeologists call geoglyphs how do you make them and question five how do archaeologists know where to dig name three ways that is three, three. Yeah, we got that. Yep, yep. Cool. Let's carry on. Maybe. Maybe it's time for a break. I do seem to be out of cheese. Oh, hello. Hello. Welcome back. Welcome back. Did you enjoy that? I just made this in my break. Look, it's got a working drawbridge and everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. You know, the first disaster of this quarantine has happened. I've got no more cheese. No more cheese. <laughs> what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, no, no cheese. <sighs> oh, well. Oh, well. Let's carry on. Let's carry on with round four. Round four. Where? Okay, where? Question one. Where is this? Where? is this? I'd love to go there. Maybe someday. Oh. 
Yeah. Where is that? Cool. Question two. Where is this? Now I have been there. Yeah. Where is that? Have you been there, Jeff? Yeah, you have. What did you think? Yeah? 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 Cool. I know, I know. It's huge. Cool, right? Yeah? Question three. Babylon was a major city in ancient Mesopotamia. It was the capital city, in fact, of the ancient Mesopotamian kingdom of Babylonia. Which river was it built along? That is, which river was Babylon built on? That's a bit of a tongue twister, isn't it? Which river was Babylon built on? No, the river of Babylon. Do you want a clue? Do you want a clue? It's not the Tigris. No. No. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Question four. Which city is the Pergamon Museum in? Which city is the Pergamon Museum in? It's on the museum island. Yeah. Museum island. It's got a massive temple in. And some big gates. The Ishtar Gate. That's in that's in the Pergamon Museum. And that is from Babylon. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Right. Question five. Which country is Diocletian's villa in? That is question five. Which country is Diocletian's villa in? Yeah. Big old fancy Roman emperor with his big old fancy villa. Where was it? Any idea? Yeah. We'll write it down. Yeah. You've got it. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Nice. Let's run through those questions again. That is question one. Where? Was this? Where is this? Question two. Where is this? Which river is Babylon on? That's question three. Question three, which river is Babylon on? Question four, which city is the Pergamon Museum in? 
Where's the Pergamon Museum? Ne? Question five. Which country is Diocletian's villa in? He retired there, Diocletian did. Yeah. First emperor to retire. Right, that's it. That's round four. Okay. We ready for round five? Oh, I just need another beer. Yep. Cool. Let's go. Let's crack on round five. Round five. 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 When. That's the theme of this round. When. When did the Romans leave Britain? Or at least when were they supposed to have left? We don't know whether they actually left. It's when the army left, really. When did the Romans leave Britain? Okay. Question two. When were the Sutton Who ship burials excavated? That is question two. When were the Sutton Who ship burials excavated? They were excavated in Woodbridge, Suffolk, my neck of the woods. Yeah. Huge boats. Big boats. You know what they say about big boats. Okay, question three. When was the Parthenon built on the Acropolis in Athens? Okay. When was the Parthenon built? on the Acropolis in Athens. I'll give you a clue. It was built after the Greeks had a big victory over the Persians. They'd all clubbed together in their little city-states and all, yeah, defeated those Persians, those pesky Persians. Yeah. And then they built the Parthenon. In celebration. Yeah. Question four. When was the Battle of Bosworth? A horse, a horse. My kingdom for a horse. Purely fabricated. Shakespeare was making everything up. Anyway, when was the Battle of Bosworth? Do you know that one, Jess? No? No. Um, that well. But do you know that one? Do you? Mm -hmm. Scribble it down. Scribble it. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Question five. This is the final question of the quiz. The final question of the quiz. When did... Boudicca revolt. When was the Boudican rebellion? 
against the Romans. Yeah? Queen of the Iceni, probably based at Caister in Norwich, trundled down, destroyed Colchester and St Albans and London. I showed those Romans what for. Yeah, totally, totally did. Okay, let's just quickly run through those questions again. Question one, when did the Romans leave Britain? Question two, when were the Sutton Hoo ship burials excavated? Question three, when was the Parthenon built on the Acropolis in Athens? Question four, when was the Battle of Bosworth? And finally, question five, when did Boudicca revolt? Right, cool. We have one final, final round, final bonus round. Yeah, one more bonus round, bonus round for you. Bonus, 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 bonus round. The bonus round, mystery object, mystery. It's a mystery. What? What is this? What is this? Simple. What is this? Did you get that? Did you? Yeah? Right then, that's it. That's all the quizzing joy we have for you. All the quiz that you need. This week, anyway. Okay then, are we ready for some answers? Are you ready for some answers, Jeff? Yeah? Definitely not talking to you like you're a human. No. No. I haven't been outside for days. Days. Oh well. Right, answers. We want some answers. Right, shall we stop? Shall we? Shall we? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, who? Round one. Who? Who excavated the tomb of King Tutankhamun? That was Howard Carter. So the answer to question one is Howard Carter. Question two was, who was the lead archaeologist on Time Team? That was Mick Aston. So the answer to question two was Mick Aston. We had a whole festival in his memory. Question three, who was also known as the Iceman? The Iceman was, of course, Ertzi. Ertzi. Discovered in the Alps. Frozen in time. From the Iron Age, I think. Yeah. He was so well preserved, archaeologists could work out what his last supper was. Yeah. OK. 
Okay, question four. Who is this? This is Lucy, an Australopithecus. Australopithecus, I think. Yeah. She was from Ethiopia. Yeah. She was from Ethiopia. Lucy, the Australopithecus. Okay, cool. Question number five. Who lived in a house like this? That is, of course, the Romans, because this is, of course, Pompeii. So, question five. Is some Roman person... So, it was the Romans lived in a house like that. Right. Round two. What? What is this? This is a trowel. We use it for digging up stuff. Question two. So this was a trowel. So that's to question one. Trowel. trowel. Question two was what is this? This is a flint flake. So the answer to question two is a flint flake. And this is that colour because it is burnt. Or at least heat affected. Somebody somewhere along the line dropped it in a fire. Okay. Question three. The answer is of course a context. The question being... What do archaeologists call different deposits of soil and features? That is a context. Context is key. Yeah. Question four. Those artefacts in China, what were they? They're the Terracotta Army. That is the Terracotta Army. Question five. What is the Via Appia? Well, they say all roads lead to Rome. It is, of course, a Roman road. Roman road. Via Appia. Yeah. Do you know any others? Like Watling Street or Ermine Street. Yeah. That was the final question question in the what round but of course there was a bonus 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 round yeah. bonus question it is knossos knossos why is knossos famous had a labyrinth what was kept in the labyrinth labyrinth had a minotaur so the answer so what myth is associated with Knossos, excavated by Arthur Evans, is Theseus and the Minotaur. So the answer to that bonus question is Theseus and the Minotaur. <coughs> okay. How? Round three. How? How do you use a trowel? All three ways. Although not quite as crazily as I was demonstrating before. You can use this way to hammer in a nail. I've done that many a time. This way to hack out a particularly stubborn stone. This way to just generally excavate contexts. That is how we use a trowel. Question two. You're looking for seeds in a soil sample. What technique do you use? Flotation. That is flotation. The answer to question two. Yep, you got that. 
cool. Question three, what is daub made of? Daub is usually made of a combination of wet soil, clay, sand, animal dung and straw. So yeah, it's got poo in it. The answer is wet clay, wet soil, clay, sand, animal dung and straw. Pooey. Geoglyphs. How do you make them? That's question th four, isn't it? Question four. How do you make a geoglyph? A geoglyph is a large design or motive produced on the ground and typically formed by plastic rocks or similarly durable elements of the landscape, such as stone, stone fragment, gravel or earth. The Uffington White Horse is, of course, carved out of chalk, chalk bedrock. The Nazca lines are something similar, I guess. But yeah, that's your answer. And question five, how do we know where we where to dig? How do archaeologists know where to dig? So you've got a choice of one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. So if you've got any three of these, so it's geophysics, field walking, aerial photography, aerial survey, test pitting, evaluation trenches, looking at old maps, word of mouth. Or a hunch? No. No. One of them's not right. We don't go on a hunch. Okay. That was the how round. Round four. Where? Where is this? That is, of course, Machu Picchu. So that is Machu Picchu in Peru. Question two, where is this? That is Avebury. One massive stone circle. Did you know there's an Airbnb that you can stay in, in the middle of Avebury? Yeah, if you fancy it. Okay, what river was Babylon on? That's question three. What river is Babylon on? That is, of course, the Euphrates. The Euphrates. The answer to question three is the Euphrates. Question four. Which city is the Pergamon Museum in? Pergamon Museum is on the Museum Island in Berlin. So the answer to question four is Berlin. It's Berlin. Then question five, where is Diocletian's Villa? Diocletian's Villa is in Croatia. So the answer to question five, the final question in that round, is Croatia. And when? Final round. When? When did the Romans leave Britain? That was 410 AD. Or at least that's when the armies left. Who knows, there probably was some sort of continuation. It's not like an entire culture would just disappear. But anyway, the answer is 410 AD. The answer to question one in round five is 410 AD. Question two. When were the Sutton Hoo ship burials excavated? 1939. So the answer to question two in round five is 1939. Yeah. That year rings a bell. Something else happened then. Hmm. 
Hmm. No, no. I can't remember. Can't remember. Right. Question three. When was the Parthenon built in Athens? It was started in 447 and finished in 438. So I will accept any answer plus or minus 20 years. So that was started in 447, finished in 438. And you can have anywhere between 480 and 410. <clears throat> Question four, when was the Battle of Bosworth? The Battle of Bosworth, a horse, a horse, kingdom for a horse, my kingdom for a horse. He never said that. He never said that. Anyway, that was in 1485. 1485. The answer to question four was 1485. And finally, when did Boudicca revolt? It's question five, round five. When did Boudicca revolt? Boudicca revolted between 60 and 61 AD. So she revolted between 60 and 61 AD. There you go. That is all the answers to all the main questions but we still have mystery object mystery object mystery object what is the mystery object mystery object well this is a piece of bog oak from the peats in the fens and it i know because of the context it came from that it's bronze age so that is at least 4,000 years old, 3,000 years old, at least 3,000 years old, and it's a bit of wood, it's a bit of oak, some giant oak tree fell over 3,000 years ago, 2,000, yeah, 3,000 years ago, and then was preserved in the peat, and now, a little bit of it is in a plastic bag in my house. So the answer to the mystery object, the mystery object is some bog oak. How did you do? How did you do? Did you get all the questions right? Did you? There was a maximum of 27 in this quiz. You could have got 27 out of 27. If you got 27 out of 27, that would have been very good. Yeah. How did you do? Hmm? Yeah. Well, Jeff got 27. And he's an inanimate object. Or is he? I hope you stick around in the comments. I'd love to know what your scores were. Let me know. But that is me. Done for now. <laughs>